Sunday. Anybody else have anything? All right, consent items. Madam, Ch <clears throat> Madam Chair, I would move for the approval of the December 10th, 2019 Board of Commissioner meeting minutes. Approval of December 17th, 2019 Committee of the Whole meeting minutes. Approval to submit the attached 2020 grant application to the Michigan Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs, Bureau of Medical Marijuana Regulation for the Barry Eaton District Health Department to conduct education, communication, and outreach regarding the Michigan Medical Marijuana Act in Barry County. Approval of the Agreement for Economic Development Services between Barry County and the Barry County Economic Development Alliance and its partner organization, the Barry County Chamber of Commerce, for the period January 1st, 2020 through December 31st, 2020. Approval of the attached revised bylaws for the Barry County Solid Waste Oversight Committee. Approval of the attached new Barry County Animal Shelter Schedule. Approval of the Michigan Department of Agriculture Farmland and Open Space Preservation Program Applications, more commonly known as PA 116, number 1909, for Mr. and Mrs. Tom Eckert in Section 7 of Carlton Town Township. Denial of map change A-2-19 for Karen Ectenaw from General Commercial GC to Mixed Juice MU in Section 1 of Woodland Township. Approval of the attached letter of support for the Berry Conservation District U.S. Forest Service Great Lake Restoration Initiative Cooperative Weed Management Area Proposal to Fund Phragmites Work for the Barry Calhoun Kalamazoo Cooperative Invasive Species Management Area, BCK SISMA. Second. Motion by Connor, support by Parker to approve the items listed under the consent agenda. Discussion is not allowed and the clerk will call the roll. Connor. Yes. Geiger. Yes. Gibson. Yes. Jackson. Yes. Parker. Yes. <coughs> yes. Wing. Yes. The consent agenda is approved. <coughs> Presentations. Oh, I'm in the hot spot now. Today it's my privilege um, to ask Sheriff Leaf to come up here. Do are your officers here? I have one one's downstairs in circuit court. Okay. You wanna go slow? Or do you wanna wait and def all right. Let's call up Inez and Judge Shipper. Skipper, I got it. My teammates got to get up here. <laughs> it's my right hand man. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll, uh, I'll read what's here, but I'm going to say just a couple other things too. Today, it's my privilege to introduce Kathy Shea. Kathy's a court services services specialist too, at the Barry County Trial Court District Court Division and is celebrating her, yes, this is not a misprint, 45th year of service. Wow. All right. <laughs> After dedicating 45 years to our office, Kathy is someone who never seems to miss the expectations we hold for her. She's someone who exceeds what is expected of her and works with great flexibility wherever she's needed. <laughs> Sometimes she wishes I didn't give her some, <laughs> so many different things to do. In her 45 years as a court recorder, uh, Kathy is often on task and is focused on her work. Without any hesitation, Kathy would be described as reliable, persistent, hardworking, compassionate, a team player, and loyal. Kathy is someone who, with her presence in the workforce, creates a, a sense of dependability. Without Kathy, we would be at a loss for such a reliable employee and the courts would not run nearly as smoothly as they do with her around. Those who've served with Kathy, her friends and co-workers, describe her with words like dedicated, kind, valuable, supportive, and funny. I'm going to add, when I started eight years ago, um, I'm sure Kathy was worried about me coming in and not knowing what I was going to be like at all. Um, I didn't know what Kathy was like, and man, am I glad that I got Kathy. Um, not only did she make a killer pie, which for me was perfect, because <laughs> I love pie, but um, 
she just has great wisdom and we work well together. I've told her many times that she's ordered not to retire. I don't <laughs> think I could enforce that, but I'd like to try. Um, she does everything we ask her to do. She fills in when people aren't there. I'll come off the bench often and ask her, was I too hard or was I too wimpy? Um, and she gives me her opinion and I ask it because she's wise and she's been around and I want her opinion on things. Um, so she's far more than somebody who works for me or in our court. She's a friend of mine. Um, and, and when she does decide to retire, I'll be, I'll be sad. Madam Chair, for these reasons and for her 45 years of service, I ask the Board of Commissioners to recognize and commend Kathy Shea. that we have on the board, you definitely have more years, I think, in <coughs> the courts than we have combined on the Board of Commissioners. How many different judges have you served with? I was trying to count that up this morning. I think it's five in district court. Just in district court? Yeah. Amazing. She, she's definitely a prize. Of, so thank you. Thank you. I appreciate everything that you do on that side rank of it. <laughs> I think I know this is not. Good afternoon. Today is my privilege to introduce Daisy Chernowski. Daisy is the Deputy Trial Court Administrator at the Berry County Trial Court, front of the court division, and is celebrating her fifth year of service. In the five years that Daisy has been part of the trial court, she has supp supplemented and ensured great progress in each step she makes in the office. She's someone who's continually, continuously shown her worth and her drive, and when it comes to being part of the court, Daisy has taken great part in implementing and facilitating different programs, such as the compliance plan for those who owe child support. Daisy is the lead in managing the front of the court's day-to-day -day operations, and without her assistance and work ethic, the front of the court would not run as easily or as proficient. She's often the force behind reducing redundancies in the office and making sure that the day proceed, proceeds calmly and is work-oriented. Amongst all of the quali qualities, she's also extremely caring and compassionate individual with the best interests of others in mind. Her presence in the work environment comes with much humor and tranquility as it does with perseverance and integrity. Those who have served with Daisy describe her with words like caring, accommodating, knowledgeable, easygoing, and patient. Madam Chair, for those reasons and for her five years of service, I ask the Board of Commissioners to recognize and commend Daisy Chernowski. See you is with a pen in your hand taking notes for something that we're doing. <laughs> and if I could just have you come to my classroom and sit with me for a day and help bring that calmness, I would love it. Well, I just forgot to mention, Daisy has aged a lot in the last year. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think you got the next one, too. Right? Oh, no, Daisy's got the oh. next one. <laughs> right. um, I do have the recognition for two employees. Um, neither one is here today. Um, the first is Rebecca Hawkins. She is a staff attorney at the Berry County um, Trial Court, and she's celebrating her 10th year of service. Rebecca splits her time between the FOC, where she serves as a staff attorney, and her other time is spent diligently working on collections for the courts. During her time as collections attorney, she has created a collections process <coughs> and procedure and has improved the court collections overall. This involves spending time um, with multiple court departments and ensuring that these processes work within the in individual needs of each court and the parameters of the legal requirements. Um, for those who have served with Rebecca, describe her words with words like knowledgeable, dependable, resourceful, trustworthy, and kind. Madam Chair, for these reasons, 
I will accept on the behalf of Rebecca her um, recognition for 10 years of service. And also, we have, I don't like public speaking. <laughs> Doing awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, next we have Tony Sewell, who's also not present. Um, Tony has spent his first five years working with the Juvenile Probation Department. Uh, his juvenile caseload included the most intensive youth on probation. These youth were required, <coughs> these youth required a great deal of attention and patience, and Tony was never afraid to hold them accountable for their actions. Tony never shred, shred away from difficult situations and quickly earn the respect of parents and juveniles. Tony has recently moved into the position of enforcement officer with the front of the court. In the short amount of time with the FOC, he has shown a great amount of initiative and eagerness to learn. His ability to relate with individuals is a positive indicator he will easily excel in his new position. For those who have served with Tony, describe him with words like funny, resilient, motivated, accountable, and empathetic. For these reasons, in his five years of service, I ask the board to recognize and commend Tony Sewell. Our next presenter is Jan Otto. Today it is my privilege to present the award for Mackenzie Chase. Mackenzie is a juvenile probation officer at the Berry County Trial Court Family Court Division and is celebrating her fifth year of service. So Mackenzie, Tony, and apparently Daisy all started on the same day. <laughs> so Mackenzie has been a great asset to the juvenile probation department. She cares deeply about the success of the kids on probation and always goes the extra mile for them. She is not afraid to hold them accountable if they step out of line and the kids and parents respect her for that. Mackenzie is our master organizer list ma maker. There are many activities planned for kids on probation, such as homework group, community service, and fitness Friday. Mackenzie makes sure we all know well ahead of time when and where everyone should be, which is invaluable to the entire staff. She probably does not realize how helpful this is because we like to tease her about being so well organized. <laughs> Mackenzie always goes the extra mile and does so with a smile on her face. Those who have served with Mackenzie describe her with words like creative, caring, dependable, motivated, and organized. Madam Chair, for these reasons and her five years of service, I ask the Board of Commissioners to recognize and commend Mackenzie Chase. From somebody who deals with troubled youth on a daily basis to someone else who does, um, I appreciate all that you do for Barry County's kids. Yeah, we're not troubled. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, <Sarah> please. <coughs> Might as well just get this done because they're just going to keep doing what they do. Hey. Your deputies. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Today is my privilege to present the, <clears throat> the award for Nicholas Seifert. Nick is the deputy at the Berry County Sheriff's Office and is celebrating his 25th year of service. Deputy Seifert came to Berry County Sheriff's Office in December 1999 after serving five years with the Middleville Police Department. Deputy Seifert has served as Berry County Sheriff's Office as a deputy, sar deputy sergeant, PPCT defensive tactics instructor, firearms instructor. He's a heck of a shot, by the way, guys. Uh, <laughs> and SRT, SRT team member. We also wish to congratulate Deputy Seifert as he enters the last phase of his career, which is retirement. <laughs> the, members, the members of our oh, let me get back here. The members of our agency wish Deputy Seifert well as he moves on to his other endeavors. Thank you for your dedication to the Barry County Sheriff's Office and the Middleville Police Department and for your service to the residents of Barry County. Congratulations, Nick, and for completing 25 years of service with Barry County. Those who served with Nick describe him with words like courteous, modest, respectful, resilient, empathetic. He's also quick-witted, 
Uh, Madam Chair, for these reasons and his 25 years of service, I ask the Board of Commissioners to recognize and commend Nick Seifert for his years of service. Safe. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of midnight watches. Oh, yeah. Um, and maybe the hairline changed a little with along with the color. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Anything, so, any sticks out in your mind? Anything fun? Uh, just taking some time off over the holidays and All right. get back at it afterwards. Thank you. Right. And, and you can take that to. All right. Kevin. Our other deputy is downstairs serving, uh, keeping the court safe today. Uh, it is my privilege to introduce Kevin Erb. Kevin is a deputy sheriff at the Berry County Sheriff's Office and celebrating 20 years of service. Deputy Kevin Erb started his career with the Berry County Sheriff's Office in October 1999 after serving his country in the United States Marine Corps as a sergeant. Thank you for your service, Deputy Erb. Deputy Erb has served in many capacities, including as an armorer, a member of the special response team, an evidence technician, a LIOSO coordinator, MRAP operator, liaison for the Sheriff's Auxiliary, and he leads the snowmobile patrols. Uh, during his career, Deputy Erb has been involved in several high-risk situations, including the recent arrest of the accused murderer, John Burnett. Deputy Erb has taken on several other added responsibilities, including responding to Hurricane Katrina to assist local law enforcement in Louisiana. Kevin Erb worked for several years at the Berry County 4-H groups, teaching ORV safety to his students. He recently attended an unusual but useful training titled Livestock, Emerg Mer eh, excuse me, Livestock Emergency Response. Should there be a situation when livestock are involved in an accident while being transported? Congratulations to, Kevin, <clears throat> excuse me, correct. Congratulations to Kevin Erb for completing 20 years of service with the Berry County Sheriff's Office. Those who have served with Kevin describe him as words like dedicated, caring, respectful, level-headed, fair, and a jarhead. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Chair, for these reasons and his 20 years of service, I ask the Board of Commissioners to recognize and commend Kevin Erb. Number five. <laughs> that concludes my presentations. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> I couldn't do it without you. Um, public hearings, we have none. Items for consideration. Madam Chair, I'd move for approval of claims in the amount of $63,035.73. Second. Moved by Gibson, second by Smelker for approval of claims in the amount of $63,035.73. Uh, Madam Clerk, can you call the roll? Geiger. Yes. Gibson? Yes. Jackson? Yes. Parker? Yes. Smelker? Yes. Yes. Wing. Yes. The item is approved. Item B, approval of commissioner's reimbursement mileage in the amount of $1,229.48. Moved by Gibson, support <laughs> by Geiger. <laughs> Discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. Gibson? Yes. Jackson? Yes. Parker? Yes. Smoker? No. Connor. <laughs> yes. It's all my mileage. <laughs> that's why that's... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the item is approved. Yeah, Item C. Enjoy Christmas. Item C. Approval to appoint members to serve on the Berry County Parks and Recreation Commission <laughs> for initial term pursuant to Public Act 261 of 1965. Russ Yarger, former Charlotte Park Village and Museum Board. Kathleen Getty, former Parks and Recreation Board. And Dan Parker, County Commissioner, to serve one-year terms that begin on 1-1-20 and expires on 12-31-20. Doug Klein, former Parks and Recreation Chair Board. Uh, former Parks and Recreation Board, and Colleen Acker, former Child Park Board and Museum Board, to serve two-year terms that begins on 1-1-20 and expires on 12-31-21. Rick Moore, Thornapple Trail Association, and Daryl Cheeseman, Child Park Gas and Steam Club, to serve a three-year term that begins on 1-1-20 and expires on 12-31-22. Second. Moved by Gibson, second by Connor. Discussion. 
Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. Jackson? Yes. Parker? Yes. Smoker? Yes. Connor? Yes. Geiger? Yes. Gibson? Yes. Wait. Yes. The item is approved. Unfinished business, we have none. New business, we have none. County administrator's report. I'm all set, thank you. Chairperson's report. Um, it has been a very interesting year. Um, this will be our last meeting of this decade. Um, I was informed today I taught my <coughs> last Monday of the decade. I was very happy. It was nice to teach my last Tuesday of the decade as well. Um, this is, has been a very um, interesting year, and I hope that next year um, we can get just as much accomplished. So I don't have any meetings the rest of the month other than um, the, the commissioners get together on Thursday night. And then the <coughs> Parks and Rec, they have their last meeting of the year and a, a, a social gathering as well. So other than that, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Commissioner Connor. Thank you. Yeah, I, I was making out Christmas cards last night, and I was thinking about that, that it was the last, the, the end of the first decade of this century, and I thought, who would have thought years ago? Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of my, all of my meetings were canceled <laughs> um, because of the, they, some don't even schedule in December, um, but I did attend my... Um, Prairieville and Yankee Springs Township meetings this month. So that was all I had. And I want to wish everybody Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And we'll start again on January 2nd. Thank you, ma'am. Commissioner Gibson. I'm our, good. Merry our Christmas, everybody. Ranking member. <laughs> ranking member. He's been here the yeah. longest. He is. Commissioner Geiger. Second ranking member. <laughs> See? Happy Christmas, everyone. Commissioner Parker. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. I want to show you what we got for Christmas at the, at the Trail Association. Who's we? Where's mine? <laughs> Read the, the front cover of that. Wow, State Board recommends $350,000 for Paul Henry Trail. Marvelous. Thank you. I already read this one, yeah. Yep, me too. <clears throat> I didn't. Nice. That kind of shows you what uh, can be done when people are out and working uh, behind the scenes, basically all volunteers, too. So, But that I have nothing else. Merry Christmas to all of you, and uh, uh, I hope you have a, a good New Year's, too. So, Thank you. Commissioner Smoker? I'm not sure who has more seniority there. Dan's a two-term <laughs> commissioner. Or he's, he's a two-timer. Two, two yeah. and <laughs> We haven't unelected you yet, so. Yeah. Uh, I have nothing to report uh, except Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all, and I will not be seeing you Thursday night, so we'll see you the 2nd. All righty. January 2nd. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. And Commissioner Jackson, who has more seniority than me. <laughs> Slowly. Uh, <laughs> just a couple notes. We did have our Economic Development Alliance meeting last week, and of interesting note, the Barry Rube. Um, gravel Road Race expanded their field this year to accommodate more riders. It sold out 3,800 <laughs> slots in a week. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that race continues to get more and more popular, so we'll have know. to wait and see if they, uh, if they open up more. But that's quite <coughs> a weekend in town. Uh, one of the other <coughs> interesting thoughts were I had received some um, emails and some information, and, and uh, it was a brief <coughs> moment of conversation about the Kmart building which they are in the process of going out of a business, which is 86,000 square feet. And it had been suggested that that would, would be a potential site for the new jail. However, as we talked about it on the EDA board, the big wire fencing and lights just didn't seem to be really attractive for Main Street <laughs> in downtown Hastings. So uh, they're probably going to continue. Their goal is to is maybe divide that up and keep that into retail space. So uh, housing is continuing to boom, and with the Moose Project and some of the other projects going on, there's slated to be several new housing, um, you know, multifamily housing projects in the area. So there's just a lot of good things going on. We had over 30 resumes received so far for Travis's position. So they're in the process of vetting through those, and uh, hopefully they'll, um, sounds like we got some very good applicants. So early next year, we'll be into that process to see what's going on. 
Um, our Brownfield Board had the RFQs for the $300,000 assessment grant from the state. We are meeting tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. again to go over those RFQs and make a decision on those. And then our Health Board meeting will be on Thursday. So other than that, my month is not quite done. So. No, not quite. <laughs> so anyways, Merry Christmas. Thank everyone in the audience who continues to attend and support us up to and including the president of the Podunk Lake Yacht Club. So, you know, <laughs> so anyways, but uh, it's been a very interesting year with several challenges, and I think we have a few more on our plate for next year, but job well done. Thank you, so. sir. Um, limited public comment. At this time, any member of the public wishing to address the board may do so for up to three minutes. Good afternoon, Barry County Parks and Rec Commission. <clears throat> I'm Rick Moore, and uh, I want to thank this board for the support that you've shown for Parks and Recreation and help us continue to make Barry County a recreation destination. The uh, Barry Roubaix is a major fundraiser for the Trail Association, and we sold 220 parking spots in a day and a quarter. So uh, things are going well. I want to thank the Bolt House family for giving us those 220 parking spaces to sell off. And amazingly enough, all the years I've done this, that a third to a quarter of the people who pay $20 for a parking space don't use it. And so we can double book those spaces for people <laughs> that show up late. And because I always feel generous, I hate to turn people away, especially when they got this, you know, so... Once again, thank you very much for your support, and we'll work hard to make this work. Uh, it'll be nice to see the uh, both park boards pulling in the same direction because we're all in this together, and, we, and it works so much better when we work well together. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Anyone else with limited public comment? Hearing none, is there any other business to come before the board? I would like to remind everybody that on January 2nd at 9 a.m., the board will have its reorganizational meeting. Um, it will not be anything other than a reorganizational meeting. Our first meeting will be on January 7th, I think. 6th, 7th at 9 a.m. Um, other than that, I would like to, the commissioners to communicate with me about the, the listing of the board appointments and we will try to have a discussion on the second before we make that before, like before everything gets settled um, whoever the chair is would like to probably have a great idea on what's going on any other business before the board there being no further business and without objection the board will now adjourn <coughs> Ta -da. did you get